We're on location at the Moose Jaw Cultural Center, May Wilson Theatre, and Mandy Higgins is joining us to talk a little bit about some of the events that are happening in February. Now, Mandy, right around Valentine's Day, there's a really neat show that a lot of people should take advantage of to have that fun, romantic evening, right? Yes, I think so. It's called Some Enchanted Evening. It's presented by Rhubarb Productions here in Moose Jaw. Uh, and there's going to be three shows of Some Enchanted Evening on February 13th, 14th, and 15th at 7.30 p.m. each night. Uh, now, Rhubarb Productions, uh, they're a local nonprofit theater company that just announced, they've been putting shows on here at the Moose Jaw Cultural Center for a long time. But th just this past, in 2013, they announced themselves as a local nonprofit theater company. They have, have nonprofit status and they announced their first season of shows. Now, this is the second of their first season of, sh second presentation of their first season of shows. And it's a show of Broadway hits. Uh, romantic songs really because it's this is at Valentine's Day right from such musicals as Les Mis, Carousel, South Pacific, Phantom of the Opera, My Fair Lady and West Side Story. Uh, tickets for this show are on sale at the Rhubarb Box Office which is just up the street from the Cultural Center at 321 Main Street North or uh, check out their website rhubarbproductions.com you can buy tickets there and there's an information on other ways how you can buy tickets as well. Right. So once we get Valentine's Day going and done, there's uh, a CD release party happening here, and any viewers of Shaw TV will have probably seen Steve Palmer on our channel before, and he's got his latest CD, and he's going to be releasing it here at a party, right? That's right. Saturday, February 22nd at 7:30 p.m., Steve Palmer. He as you said, he's a local singer-songwriter who plays the guitar, based out of Moose Jaw, and travels around the country. He's probably told you about that. And in the past, he's worked as a musician for hire in rock and country bands. And yes, he's got a new CD called Prairie Airs, and he's going to be releasing it here at a concert on February 22nd. And he's got some special guests at the show, Sister Rain, that's a country music duo of, of two young sisters from Minnedosa, Manitoba, and keyboard wizard Kelly Sabergia of Moose Jaw. Tickets for this show are at the Cultural Center box office or at moosejawculture.com. All right. Well, Mandy, it's the time where we remind people on how to stay connected because the Moose Jaw Cultural Center, May Wilson Theater, is very well connected in social medias. Uh, how do people stay in touch? Okay. Uh, yes, social media sites. We are on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and our blog on Blogger, and people can connect to those through our website, moosejawculture.com, which is our general website where people can find more information on what I've talked about, as well as links on how to get um, more information on how to buy tickets. Uh, people can call us, 693-4700 is our box office number, or there's also a paper newsletter that gets updated and placed outside, so please pick one up as you're passing by. All right. Well, Mandy, thanks for taking a bit of time with us, and thanks very much to you for spending a bit of time with us here on Shaw TV. I'm Greg Olson.